Hi, and welcome to Unisport Web TV. If you're wondering, who is this guy? I'm Jolter, and I'm your new host for the English show. And what a better way to start than give you my thoughts and opinions about a brand new super lightweight boot from Diadora, who are really trying to challenge the bigger brands in the violent war zone that is the speed boot market. Please give a warm welcome to the Diadora DDNAs. Diadora promised us a precise ball feel and a strong support, but how does it work? Or if it works at all? That's what we will find out today. I'm not gonna lie, at first I wasn't too impressed by the plastic-like material and today's big question is, Will I ever fall in love with these boots? That's what we will find out today when I'm reviewing the Diodora DDNAs. You are watching Unisport Web TV. Let's get the show started. When you think of the word speed boots, the first thing that probably captures your mind is the weight. That being said, the Diodore DDNAs only weigh an impressive 185 grams, making them one of the lightest boots on the market. When you're designing a super lightweight boot, you obviously want to make it as light as possible. And in order to do that, you need to use materials that are both light and strong, so your boots can live up to all your expectations. For the upper, Diodora have used a microfiber material called Suprel Pro 3L. Yes, a fancy name, but with a lot of fancy features. The greatest one being its ability to adapt to your foot. When you're playing with the DDNAs, you really feel like you're playing with a pair of socks. What I mean is, this boot really molds to your foot in a really, really comfortable way and almost becomes a part of you. And based on my previous experiences with microfiber boots, I didn't really expect the DDNAs to be flexible or supple at all. But luckily, I was wrong. The more you use these boots, the softer the upper gets, which results in a really comfortable and true fit, all the way from the front to the heel. And for a player like me, with enormously wide feet, it's crucial to find a pair of boots that are both comfortable and flexible. And to my surprise, the Diodora DDNAs have done just that. Question, what is a football boot without a strong support? It's a bloody joke! And fortunately, Diodora have provided us with Morpho Cage S technology, which is a microfiber band that is melted into the boots, into the upper, and acts as the skeleton for the boots. It's another fancy name, but it also has a very important mission, which is to ensure the boot sits tight to your foot and furthermore, gives you the feeling you're in control of the boots. You're the master of the boots. And that's a pretty nice feeling, if you ask me. One thing I do have to mention is that the sock liner seems to jiggle and wiggle when you're playing with these boots, especially on wet surfaces. But it's not a big problem, just worth mentioning.
sole of the boot is made of Diodorus net breathing system. The purpose of this system is to keep your feet at a comfortable temperature throughout the 90 minutes of action by allowing sweat and moisture to escape from the boot, but at the same time, not water seep in. In all honesty, I didn't really buy into the idea, but after all, that's just my opinion. Talking about the studs, Diodoro have used diamond shaped studs to provide a good grip in the pitch. Underneath the front foot pad, there are four round studs, which compared to bladed ones are better at rotating in the ground. I'm not an expert when it comes to analyzing the stud configuration, but I've come to a conclusion that if I don't notice any disadvantages in the placements or the size of the studs, everything works as it's supposed to work. That being said, I haven't had any problems with the studs on this boot and I'd be using these on both natural and artificial grass, but I do prefer using these on natural grass. All in all, this really seems like a solid piece of work. So once again, thumbs up for Diodora. As I mentioned earlier, the material itself is super flexible, but it is also very thin. The Superl Pro 3L microfiber is only 0.9 millimeters thin, which combines with an inside padding of just 0.3 millimeters. And as a result, the upper is only 1.2 millimeters thin. You might be asking, so what? Well, the extremely thin upper gives you an incredibly precise ball feel. You really feel like you're actually touching the ball, unlike with some other boots with a thicker upper, where you clearly feel there's something between your foot and the ball. Let's take shooting, for example. With the DDNAs, what you put in is what you get out. What I mean by that is, there are no control zones in this boot to help you curve the ball, for example. So if you strike the ball with your instep, you're gonna get an instep strike and nothing else. It's almost like playing with a pair of socks, as I previously mentioned. But don't get me wrong, just because you're using the DDNAs, your touch or ball control won't just magically change. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is you really feel what you're doing. And I kind of lie. I like that feeling a lot. I really, really like the Diodora DDNAs. And in my opinion, they're one of the best speed boots out there. They're lightweight, they're pretty comfortable, and the upper is both thin and flexible, so you can really feel whatever you decide to do with the ball. A really big plus, in my opinion. Also, the technologies work, and it's not the last time I've played in these bad boys. Even though the colorway is not exactly to my liking. But definitely worth a try.
It is time to collect all of my thoughts into a final verdict. And I want to start off by saying this was my first time ever using Diadora boots and I'm very surprised. In a positive way. The super thin and flexible microfiber upper combined with a strong and supportive heel make this a deadly combination and at the same time a great alternative to all of you looking for a comfortable and reliable super lightweight boot. I did however have some small problems with the slipping sock liner which resulted in me not falling completely in love with these boots. I would describe our relationship as friends with benefits, which means I'm still always looking forward to the next time interacting with these boots. All in all, Diodora have really impressed me with the DDNAs and they are without a doubt <laughs> Jolter approved. But hey, then again, these are just my opinions. What do you think about the Diodora DDNAs? Let me know by leaving a comment to the comment section below. Anyways, this is it for today. We will meet again here on Unisport Web TV, but until then, I'm out. And it's a wrap! <laughs> and that's take one, and that's a wrap! Let's go home. Not yet. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Not today.